Hi, I'm Liz Jankowski from Royal Botanical Gardens and today I'm going to talk to you about how to make a moth sheet. Now you might associate moths with holes in your clothes or old closets, but moths are actually a really important part of our ecosystem. They are a main food source for bats. They also have all these tiny little hairs all over their body that's really good for pollinating flowers. And even though they outnumber butterflies 10 to 1, they still are not seen very much by us. And that's mainly because most moths are nocturnal and we're not. So I'm gonna show you how to use a couple simple uh, tools to set this moth sheet up. One of the best things about moth sheets is all you really need is a sheet and a light source. Now, uh, some people do this professionally and they'll use really fancy lights called mercury vapor lights or even a black light. And those are great because they attract more moths because the light spectrum they, they emit is much broader than what would be emitted by my flashlight. But you really don't need fancy equipment to just see the moths that are around your place. So when you're trying to figure out where to set up your moth sheet, you want it to be in an open area so moths can approach it from all angles. And you also uh, want to make sure it's not near any other artificial light source. So. If you have a clothesline, that's a great option. I don't have a clothesline here, so I had to get a little bit creative with my materials. There you go, our moth sheet is all set up. I had to work with what I had in my backyard, so I had to get a little creative with my materials. But the main thing is that you're setting your sheet up in an open area, you're maximizing the surface space of your sheet, and you put something down for your light to go on. So now all that's left to do is wait until nighttime and turn on the light to see what shows up. Wow, we sure got a lot of great creatures last night. Not just moths, but other nocturnal insects too. And that's one of the greatest things about this moth sheet activity. You get to see all sorts of things that are active at night. Well, I sure had fun making this moth sheet. I hope you give it a try. And if you like this activity, try out our other activities at our BJ at Homes website or our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.